Hey guys, so today's video is going to be another vegan recipe and today's will be kind of, I hope, really versatile. Today I'm making vegan burritos, but the filling that I'm going to make can be used in so many different Mexican things like tacos or anything, like even chili, you can use this as a base for, so that's part of the reason that I really love it. It's so, so easy, so quick, so simple. So like I said, today I'm going to make vegan burritos and I'm also going to make guacamole to go on the side and I love guacamole and this is my absolute favorite recipe. I mainly just eat it out of the bowl with a spoon, to be perfectly honest with you, it's that good. Super simple, again, really easy I'm pretty lazy and like not great at really complicated recipes so that's why most of my things are really easy to make so let's go make some dinner so here's what you're going to need to make the burrito filling we have some onion about half an onion some fresh oregano you can use um, dried stuff as well if you want then we have some refried beans some uh, Mexican red sauce this is just um, pre-made but if you want to make up a little salsa then it'll be pretty much the same thing then we have kidney beans, some whole kidney beans, a little bit of peanut oil to fry everything in, some frozen sweet corn, of course you can use fresh or canned as well, and some ground coriander and some chili flakes. So that is going to be our filling. And then of course you'll also need the tortillas to wrap everything in. And we just found this in the back of the cupboard and decided we needed some chipotle flavor in there as well. So we're using chipotle, it gives it a bit of a smoky flavor. If you like that, you can use this or you can also use liquid smoke and it'll do pretty much the same thing. So yep, all good to go. The first thing you're going to want to do is chop up your onions and then fry them until they're kind of translucent -y, possibly even a little bit caramelized if you like that flavour. Next up you're going to add in your refried beans and kidney beans and your sweet corn, especially if it's frozen, put it in at this point. If it's um, ready to eat then you can put it in a little bit later than this. But basically your refried beans and kidney beans are pre-cooked already and corn doesn't take much cooking when it's like this, so you're really just looking to heat it all through and get it to take on those spicy flavours. And the final thing that you're going to do is add in your chipotle and a little bit of salt. This is all to taste, so just decide how much you want. And I realize this looks super unappetizing, but I promise it tastes really amazing. This is your filling that you're going to put in your burritos. And the red sauce, the Mexican red sauce that I mentioned before, that is like a salsa that you can use on top. Okay, let's make these burritos. Here's what you'll need for this delicious, super simple guacamole. It's all pretty self-explanatory, I think. So we've got about three avocados in here, then some little baby tomatoes chopped up. Big ones are fine too. The juice of one lime and some ground cumin and a little bit of hot sauce, which is optional. You just decide if you want it a little spicy or not. And basically all you're gonna do is roughly chop up your ingredients like so. And voila, your guacamole should look like this. And like I said, all that's been done is the ingredients are roughly chopped and then you give it a wee bit of a mash with the back of a spoon or a fork until it goes into like, not a paste, but just slightly less um, separate than it is usually. And then the ingredient that I forgot that's on top here is just some fresh coriander. So here's the finished product, a super easy vegan bean burrito with guacamole and salsa on the side. As I say, really, really simple, super delicious, and I think it's a good thing to feed your non-vegan slash omnivore friends, because I feel like the beans make it quite um, meaty textured, and I don't think a lot of people will be able to tell that this was vegan, because it's so spicy and delicious. So yeah, here we go. Hope you guys enjoy.